It seems to me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that if there is that much uncertainty, and if the council, if the planning commission has looked at it twice, if the staff has looked at it several times, and if there is disagreement among the staff and the plan commission and the uncertainty as to what should be done, that the benefit of the doubt ought to be given to the property owner and let him use his property for a use that's presently available. If you don't like service days, it's not a thing I can do that will do me any good. On the other hand, if you look at it with regard to the location of the property, the use to be made of it, the surrounding area, why even a service station use on this property is pretty good use of property. I always enjoy Mr. Nichols' presentation, but this presentation reminds me of, of Lemon Avenue since I lived through every one of those zoning cases. And it was always the neighbors around it didn't object. And the reason they didn't object is because they wanted to come in for zoning next. So that doesn't really impress me about the neighbors not objecting to this request. Uh, we broke down some zoning on Cedar Springs years back, which we shouldn't have. Uh, this is a good place to put a stop to it. Uh, I feel that this would really be a very bad piece of zoning. And uh, I will leave the motion up to someone else because I'm very prejudiced on this case. I'm totally well, we don't, against I think it would be better if, after that speech if you went ahead and made the motion. <laughs> <laughs> you don't oh, sign on the side of the I move, well, I move that we close the public hearing, Mr. Mayor, and deny this application. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed?